This video will explore some of five most deadly and gruesome tortures from hell. Some of these tortures must have been created by the devil himself. Number five, the Indians and Persians adopted literally a skull crushing method to extract answers from their criminals. That's if they did not die from this, which I'm pretty sure they did. This method is called the head crusher. It would get the person to place its head beneath an upper metal cap. The executioner would then slowly turn the screw, causing the metal cap to compress against the head. This would cause their eyes to pop out of their eye sockets and irreversible brain damage. Persians actually switched up this method quite a bit during the 19th century. Instead of using the metal cap, they would get the person to place their head on a wooden block and a trained elephant would crush the head of the criminal. Number 4. This method got me cringing to the bone. It's called the Judas Chair. It's a pyramidal shaped block that is placed on top of the chair. The inmate would be naked and their vagina or anus would be placed on top of the pointy part of the pyramid shaped block and their body would be lowered against that pointy part. This process would be repeated over and over again against the cradle's point. Just to add that this device was rarely washed so the individual would most of the time contract an infection. Number 3. Flaying is a method that was mainly used in Africa and in the Middle East. It consisted of removing the prisoner's skin, who by the way was still alive. They would add ingredients such as salt in order to increase the pain and then the prisoners were thrown to bleed to death. Number 2. Disembowelment is another torture from hell. It was used to punish thieves and those accused of adultery. Basically, the victim would receive a thin fine cut to the abdomen or gut of about an inch so that the intestine would be seen. The torture would then separate the intestine from the bottom stomach with a hook attached to a crank. The crank would slowly turn, pulling the intestine from the gut. Those who were witnessing the torture would be able to see anywhere from 9 to 18 feet collected by the crank. Obvious as it is, no one ever survived this torture. Number 1. Maybe because I'm a male, but I put this method as number one because it's probably the most pain excruciating method to torture someone. So painful that I think that some of our female viewers would feel for us men. This method is called the crocodile shear. It is entirely metal based and it would be shaped exactly into a crocodile with various amount of spikes to make it seem like the crocodile has teeth. The metal was then heated at a very high temperature and the crocodile shear was applied on the victim's erected penis which was then torn from the body. If the victim was lucky enough, the device would only cause intense bleeding. It was usually reserved for men who betrayed their king. Out of all these deadly methods that were used, which one do you think would be the most painful? Comment down below. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to us.